Colin, thanks for talking to you. Good afternoon for you on a personal note. Good afternoon for your team. Yeah, it was um, good to finally score. It's been a while. It's definitely something I need to add um, to my game. But yeah, it's a good win and another win away from home. It's been a good week for you on a personal note. You know, a terrific performance at Charlton. And, and today, that first goal, you know, it, it must be a great feeling. Yeah, I think um, obviously I've had my injury and I was out for four months. It was hard. First few games, I found it tough. Um, but now I'm getting fitter and stronger every game. It's um, getting a lot better for me. It was the one goal that won the game. Do you think, on a personal note, some of the positions you got in where you struck the ball really cleanly, you could have probably had even more goals? Yeah, I could have had two or three today. I think the way um, Pixie and Kirk give me the ball in them positions, it's they make it a lot easier for me. But I just need to the target a lot more, and that'll push my game on. You've, you've talked about the injuries that have been frustrating. That one, of course, was the, the bad one in the FA Cup at Cheltenham. It left yeah. you out for a long, long time. Are you fully fit and, and, and everything there? I know it's coming towards the end of the season, but do you feel strong? Yeah, I feel fully fit now. It's, like I said, it takes a lot, a couple of games to kind of get back into it. You can play as many 23 games as you want, but there's nothing compared to being on the first team pitch. How much does it take out of you, a long-term injury? You know, the, the mental side of it when you're out of the out of the picture basically you're in that treatment room yeah mentally it is it's probably the worst place you can be in football i think all the lads that have been in there will tell you that it's no one wants to be in in the physio room with any injury really you've got to be playing week in week out that's where everyone wants to be and you've obviously got yourself back in at the right time the season's coming to an end but you look so you're ending on a high you've had another good performance away from home that's kept that run going now you've got a, another final home game of the season coming up against Shrewsbury yeah personally I wish the season was going on longer but obviously there's only a couple of games left but we'll, we'll go again next year I'm sure where are you up to with your future you know what, what, what can you tell us uh, well, I think it's all been decided really, it's just getting it all sorted and then we'll go from there. In terms of decided, do you think you've had good talks with the, with the manager? Yeah, definitely. It's, I think um, it will all get sorted next week sometime and then be able to get it all announced. For wherever it comes or whatever it does, you, you feel as though you, you're ready to go, you know, your time's, your time's coming now. Yeah, uh, I'm 23 now, I'm not, not a, a young kid when I first came into the team, I just want to cement my place in, in and around the starting 11 and hopefully that can be what I do next year and League 1 football you, it's wet is your appetite what you've played in you, you know it's a great standard isn't it yeah. you, you've moved up to and obviously you, you set your ambitions even higher yeah definitely the the standard in League 1 is a lot a lot better than League 2 you can see most of our players thrive off playing in this league compared to League 2 because you can show that technical ability and it's it's um, you get a bit more time in League One, but it's, it's not as hit and run as it is in League Two. It's get the ball down and play football. Let's finish off then and talk us through the goal. Good or hard work from Owen Dale created it for you. How, how did you feel when it arrived? Yeah, I was just happy it's at the back of the net. It's been a been a long time and just need to add that and hopefully I can do that.